Yo, ohayo sakai, good morning world. Welcome to kind of overcast Kobe, or no, not even Kobe, <laughs> overcast Kyoto. Wrong city. Today is our big, oh yeah, okay, did I say overcast? Yeah, it's uh, the weather just took a turn for the, uh, the muggy. But today's our big Kyoto exploration day. We just got here from the Arashiyama station and I think we're gonna go hit up the monkey hike first in Arashiyama and then check out the Fushimi Inari. My camera did take a little bit of a spill. So just to recap, this morning we kind of all woke up around 7.30, hit up the station, the train left around 10. So we were all kind of in transit this morning. Now we're here and we're gonna go do some exploring. What's on the menu? Well, we're gonna go up to uh, Arashiyama Park, okay. the bamboo forest, and of course the highlight you are the monkeys, the yeah. monkey park. What are you trying to see, Ferg? Nothing that you haven't seen before, right? Yeah, yeah, I've already seen before. <laughs> we're gonna go see the, uh, the Kiyomizu as well, uh, just because it's such an iconic temple, especially here in Kyoto. That and obviously the, the Fushimi Nari, uh, it's the you know iconic red gates that lead up to the mountains where you encounter yokai. I'll check you guys soon. We're gonna proceed onward. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little sequence there. Arashiyama, the monkey park. Uh, I think I got a bunch of good shots. Unfortunately, my camera, like I mentioned, is kind of like dead now, so I couldn't really check the playback. But uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna head over to the Fushimi Inari, get more shots. Oi, 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 me na, it's ne. 2020 J Kraken tagging in for a sec. Uh, just echoing my 2019 self's sentiments. I really hope you guys enjoyed that cinematic montage of the bamboo forest going into Arashiyama Monkey Park. Not to mention, your boy finessed in an unreleased track as the soundtrack for that montage. That song is a fun collaboration I did with my good friend Corey. For longtime viewers of my channel or vlog, you guys have seen Corey before. Biggest vlog. Or as his artist name is. X-Ray, arigatou gozaimasu brother, for absolutely Detroit smashing the verse on that song. I can't think of a more perfect song to soundtrack that montage. Arigatou gozaimashita! Hey, music video in 2021. Song dropping out of Spotify near all you guys. Stay tuned. Kyoto is unquestionably the most magical, historically rich, and spiritually rejuvenating cities that we visited while we were in Osaka. Just going from that initial nature walk through Arashiyama Monkey Park and the bamboo forest at the beginning of the day, and then later pivoting over to the more spiritual side of things where we hit up temples and shrines near like the end of the day, near sunset, was just such a beautiful way to wrap up our leg in the Kansai region. So we're still in Kyoto, but we're now at the Fushimi Inari, the entrance. Um, we're gonna go hike it. And I think that pretty much wraps up well, the majority of Kyoto. Um, uh, gonna just try and enjoy this last bit of 
magic here in Kyoto because it has been pretty incredible so far. At the foot of the Fushimi Inari, the, you know, the iconic red gates, there's all these like little food stalls, kind of like you see in animes, preliminary temples with the foxes so you can kind of pray to get good luck, as well as, you know, guides kind of telling you how to traverse the Fushimi Inari. So it's a cool spot to kind of just get your bearings, get hyped before, you know, taking the plunge into the, the shrine itself. Um, so do I, do I fold it in here? Um, only if you don't want it. You can keep it with you, but because you got a good, good fortune here, you have to come back in the future and get closure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Fushimi Inari, for the good fortune. Come back. Come back better than ever. So the Fushimi Inari itself, like many other ancient areas in Kyoto, is just so rich and steeped in beautiful Japanese history and culture and at the risk of sounding like a crazy superstitious person or like crazy superstitious weeb, I don't know. I, I just wanna say, when you step foot in the Fushimi Inari, there is this incredible and powerful aura that emanates from the shrine and the atmosphere around it. And again, I know that sounds crazy, but you feel it. You f it's, it's both serene and electrifying. So we're at like the halfway point. Well, not the halfway point, but we kind of just started going up the Fushimi Inari. And there are these little, these little shrines over here. This one is, uh, according to Matt, it's for babies. But there's all these like little branches or shrines that branch off the main path. I don't know why I'm talking so quietly. <laughs> there's like this energy here in the Fushimi Inari. I mean, the excitement there is palpable. It's packed with people, foreigners, tourists, people who've never seen the Fushimi Inari, much like myself. But there's also this very solemn and respectful vibe there as well. You know, people coming to the shrine to pray for good fortune, for guidance, whatever the case is, uh, to visit the shrine in honorance because it's such a powerful spiritual spot. So, you know, you have the excitement, but also that, that solemn gratitude that just kind of coalesce in this beautiful energy that you feel throughout. It's present throughout your stay, you being there in the Fushimi Inari. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird and I was just feeling some type of way about it all, but it was a beautiful experience. If you've been there before, let me know in the comment section below if you felt that vibe too, or maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Each one of these gates, uh, you know, I think I once heard that you need to spend at least like five grand or so to have a gate. But of course, you, you also need to pay to, to, up, to upkeep the gate. So that's why each column has a different level of, of deterioration, or some look newer than others. Because they're not maintaining it? They're not maintaining it. You have to pay to, to maintain these gates, too. You said on the left-hand side, these are the names of the uh, Right, so people. the right side, right side is the date that the gate was made, and, and, the, and the left side is the, <laughs> is the is like a company, or it's a private donor, or maybe it's like a, a city hall of some kind. All of these gates that we just passed were from a, were from a dental clinic. Oh, right on. <laughs> And that right there, kids, is your history lesson courtesy of Hayato. As if I wasn't being weird or superstitious enough, by the time we got back to the base camp of the Fushimi Inari, we were met with this crazy rain. It was drizzling, but the sun was out and radiant, and it was surreal, like something out of an anime. Almost like the, the Fushimi Inari was giving us its blessing, like, all right, travelers, here's good fortune for the rest of your journey. I, I don't know. It was. Oh, it was beautiful. I love Japan. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna say, if you read any like travel guide for Kyoto, like you just Google Tokyo, or sorry, Kyoto travel guide, like 100% the Fushimi Inari is gonna be there for a good reason. For 2019 J. Kragen, I was at a time in my life where I was looking for adventure, for creative and spiritual rejuvenation. And I found all that in Japan, in Kyoto specifically. If you're anything like me and you're searching for that, you know, that perspective or, or balance in your life or whatever area in your life that you're focusing on, or, you know, you just wanna immerse yourself in Kyoto's beautiful history, then you absolutely need to pay the Fushimi Inari a visit. All right, so now we're all up in our feels about temples, good fortunes, and just spiritual states, if you will. Shout out to Nujibis. I think it's fitting that this vlog ends with the Kiyomizu Shrine.
Kyoto Day, or even just Japan in general, I was just so filled with gratitude. Gratitude to have been able to experience and immerse myself in that rich history, uh, Kyoto's rich and beautiful history, and to have done it with the Nakama, the good homies, Ferg and Matt, as well as just simply being able to you know, gain that spiritual rejuvenation. Like even to this day, I get, I get goosebumps thinking about it and I feel like my cup is full, like I'm energized and I'm ready to create again. So that said, I'm gonna go ahead and hand it back to 2019 Jay Kraken on the roof of the PAX Hostel in Shin Sakai and let him close it out the way he meant to. All right guys, so we just got back to Shin Sakai at our hostel, the PAX. Uh, this is our last night here in Kansai, and it's been such an incredible experience. Uh, an incredible spiritual experience, especially today in Kyoto. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the footage. Uh, I am bummed that my camera took a spill and now it's kind of fucked up. Uh, it's actually very fucked up. I'm more than likely gonna have to get a new one for work, but that takes nothing away from how amazing uh, today and the rest of the trip has been. Um, super blessed, super grateful to be out here. And I mean, look at this view, the suit and kaku is like right there. Uh, shout out to all the wonderful, wonderful people we met here at the PAX Hostel. Uh, if I'm forgetting your name, Hiro, Shin, uh, Kagaho-san. If you guys ever watch this, I miss you guys. You guys were rad. Um, if you're ever in Japan and you're in Osaka, the Shinsekai area, Absolutely check out the PAX Hostel because everyone is super, uh, like unquestionably, just nice and down to earth. So, um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this vlog. Osaka, I miss you. You totally stole my heart during this trip and I can't wait to be back. I'm gonna have to be back, especially because I went to temples and I, I asked for good fortune and if that good fortune comes back to me, it means I'll have to return here to complete the circle, according to Matt. So, um, it's been incredible so far, guys. Um, yeah, that'll do it for me. Um, tomorrow we're in Tokyo, I'll check ya. But until then, as always, be good. Don't drop your phones into sewers, and whatever it is you got going on in life, make it a cracking one. I love you guys. Peace. Oh, I see the monkeys. I see one of them. There's one up there.